Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us for this edition of the Meta Cinema podcast. With me today is Victoria Lin, who is the general manager of attractions at Dubai Holding Entertainment, um, also known as Roxy Cinema, to our cinema audience. Um, Victoria, how are you doing? And thank you for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, I'm doing great, as I just mentioned before, you know, just keeping busy, looking forward to what's coming in the next couple of months and, you know, just trying to do everything possible to get people in our cinemas at the moment. <laughs> all, all, all sounds like good stuff. And I think... Uh, I, I can see that the, the confidence is, is getting back and obviously with more films and releases, uh, more and more people are taken to cinema. So that's, I think, a sign of good things and great things to come very shortly. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it goes without saying, right? You know, this has been an industry that's been absolutely affected, uh, you know, globally. Um, and of course, you know, we've, we've had to deal with limited capacity, lack of movie releases, you know, we've had obviously closures, um, you know, there's been so many things that have worked against us in this industry. And, um, and we've just been trying to do everything possible, you know, to kind of get back on track, you know, so definitely been a challenge. But, uh, but yeah, I think everybody is working very hard to, to really get us back to to kind of some kind of normal again. Yeah. Um, so I think um, my first question was actually about the pandemic and it affects on yeah. and rocks. And I think you kind of alluded to that. Um, but if you were going to tell me the top kind of learnings um, from Roxy's perspective, um, a cinema operator's perspective in this period, um, what would they be? I think, you know, the big thing is, is that, you know, what everybody has obviously found out is that at the end of the day, while the industry has been affected, we've still had to, you know, get up every morning, come to work, and we've had to operate this business. So, you know, speaking for myself and my team, you know, we've been probably working a lot harder for, you know, probably little results. Um, and that's been a big challenge, you know. Um, of course, Needless to say, we've been focused on ensuring that we're giving out a message that it's safe to come to the cinemas. And actually some of the, the distributors have, have really kind of helped, you know, portraying that message. You know, um, I think one of the first kind of movies that came out was Wonder Woman, you know, two, where you had actually the, the lead star of the show talking about, you know, get back in the cinemas. You know, you saw the same from kind of Fast and Furious. So you had some, you know, some big stars who were encouraging people to come back. And that that obviously has helped us. But, you know, in terms of just trying to communicate, it is safe, you know, there is social distancing. We do clean, sanitize after every show. That has definitely been a challenge because even till today, there's certainly been customers who joined us weekly at Roxy Cinemas that have not yet come back. And, and that's the really sad part, right? Is that you're kind of dealing with a crowd that were once your, you know, diehard fans, they're still not finding the confidence to come out. So I would say that's like the number one challenge, of course, um, you know, in limited capacity. I mean, this has obviously impacted us uh, considerably at peak times. Uh, we might get a sold out cinema, but of course, you're only realistically getting about 60% of your total capacity. So, you know, again, I know that I'm not on my own when I talk about this, but uh, certainly at Roxy, when I've been looking at, you know, what can I do to help sustain? Of course, you're looking at your costs, right? Of course, you're looking at what staffing you need. You're looking at your hours of operation, We've definitely trimmed back, you know, we're not showing earlier shows like we used to and, and likewise later, you know. So it, it has impacted. And then from a management side, you know, it, it's with your staff, you know, it's really been trying to develop and implement a new culture and a new way of doing things. And everything from how you train your staff to even interact with the customers has changed now. 
you know, they're not shaking hands anymore. They're not, you know, getting as close as what they used to. And and that's an adjustment. And, and as a leadership team, you know, it's a continuous reminder, right, of even with each other that we've got to put safety first, you know. So that's been a real change for us. Um, thank you for that very thorough answer. Um, and I think these are all very valid um, and very real points that you're dealing with, um, but obviously a lot of your colleagues in this industry and a lot of other industries. Um, but, you know, as um, I think in UAE, at least, um, as the vaccination rates have gone higher yeah. and, and we can see a decline in numbers, I'm really hoping that that helps with getting your diehard fans back into the cinema um, and kind of turning a new leaf for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, we're, we're ultimately excited of the expo that will come and, and hoping that that, you know, brings again some of the groups of people the demographics that were actually missing coming into our cinemas at this point in time as well absolutely i think we are all very excited and <laughs> hopeful for for the expo um so i sit in the same boat as you with that one um so i mean again you started talking a little bit about um, your kind of recovery strategies yeah. um, from yeah. the staff and training to hours um, do you have any other recovery strategies beyond this? So let's say, you know, Expo happens and um, thousands of people flood our city or, you know, the, the vaccination uh, drive means that their rates go down drastically and dramatically. Um, what, what are your recovery plans to cope with that volume or recovery plans? Should this be the new normal and you have to operate at 60 percent capacity and this is what it is? So. Do you have two sets of maybe strategies on what is to come and how you're going to deal with it? Yeah, absolutely. So um, in my role, I work very closely, obviously, with my sales and marketing team. So I think, you know, first and foremost, we are looking at numerous partnerships in the region. And because of our positioning with Roxy Cinema, we're part of Dubai Holding. Um, group, you know, so this gives us a lot of, again, opportunities and partnerships within that group itself that will help leverage, um, you know, and ultimately push more people, hopefully, through our doors, you know. But I think one of the key things is, again, is we've got to be ready for that. And, you know, this means, I talked earlier about, you know, we've got to excel in safety and that's a key message. But now, you know, the customer service, the customer experience, the delivery, right, the, the Roxy brand is, I would say, you know, we try to be a bit more boutique. Um, you know, we're a little bit smaller than some of the mass uh, cinema chains that are out there. So that customer experience has to be perfect. And we've really been working on that. In fact, at the moment, you know, we're, we're actually bringing in a new chef. We've got um, a few new key team members coming in um, who will lead the team, you know, and navigate them through. But the focus has to be on food. The focus has to be on quality. The focus has to be on a completely different type of experience, you know. So, I mean, one of the key things, I'm from an entertainment background, okay. So um, anyone that works with me, you know, I've been trying to really, really change the cinema slightly, right. So it's not just built purely on content. The content, of course, is the key driver. We all know that. But we try and offer something a little bit different. So, you know, I give you an example now that we can, you know, get licenses to do entertainment and things like that again. Um, events is a big part of what Roxy Cinemas will be doing in the future. We did a ladies night last week and we did that coupled with uh, the release of the Aretha Franklin movie called Respect. And so what we did was we actually brought in a live mu musician. She sang some of Aretha's best tracks. You know, we had 45 minutes. We had a sold out event. And that showed to me a couple of things. One thing is that if you do something different, you can drive more people into your cinemas, which is obviously what we need. Um, it shows me that people are looking again right, to do things in Dubai and in the UAE. So if we do something like this, we've got to make sure that the quality is 100%, the customer experience is 100%. So we've definitely changed our event strategy 
and you know again focus on that platinum experience the red carpet experience and taking that experience to that next level so i'm really proud of that and that is definitely something that we'll continue to do um, in the near future really exciting stuff and brilliant strategy <laughs> to differentiate yourself i was just like nodding along i don't know if you saw me i was just like oh that's really <laughs> exciting please please let me know when you have your next ladies night i'm there for sure i will wow. I will send you a personal invite please, for sure. Please, please do. But you are 100% right. I think people are ready to experience things. And um, I think one of the things that the pandemic has done is it makes us appreciate experiences a little bit more because we don't know if it's going to be there permanently or yeah. uh, you know, something that we should grab with both hands um, before it's unavailable again. So I think that's a brilliant um, path that you have kind of started and it goes really well with your boutique, boutique cinema um, experience yes. um, that yes. was in, in place uh, to begin with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> really, really exciting stuff there. Um, so I know that uh, you have been busy working on some projects, expansion plans, and some really exciting things in that space. Um, can you <laughs> shed some light on that um, and tell us uh, what, what you guys have been busy working on whilst maintaining and strategizing to redefine the experience in the cinema? But from the project side, what, what have you been busy with? So... Not reveal all of the information, but all I will say now is that we are working on a new mega project um, that will be coming in certainly in 2022. And uh, we've been putting a lot of effort into that, into again, really making it special, really making it a little bit different. And, and I cannot wait to announce that. Uh, but we're just obviously treading lightly with that to ensure that we get the right dates and things like that. But but what I will say is that, again, with Roxy Cinemas, we recognise, you know, based on what I've just, you know, told you before, that we do have to do something a little bit different. And that is certainly our strategy moving forward, you know. So I would say for now, watch this space, uh, but it's definitely something to talk about in the coming months. So, so to wrap it up, there is a different experience, Roxy flavor, mega project coming up. That's a lot to watch for. Uh, yes. <laughs> very excited um, to, to hear more about it. So I know um, that you will be joining us at Meta Cinema Forum in October, yeah. uh, towards the end of October. Um, so um, do you think the audience um, can expect to hear a little bit more about this project or its unveiling or some more details uh, during the event? Yes, I certainly hope <laughs> that will be the goal that we're definitely communicating something, especially to this audience, right? Because again, you know, this is important, I think, in this industry, right, that you know, we work together, um, you know, because we are all partners, whether we might be competing against each other at the same time, we are in it together. And I think it's important that we win together. So yes, I would certainly hope so by that time, I'll be able to give a, a few more details. Uh, that's very exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it. If you want to know what uh, Victorian team have been up to, um, you better stay tuned and better make sure that you attend Meta Cinema so you hear it firsthand. Um, so I'm just going to link a little bit of your kind of talks to what we are obviously doing with the event. Um, yeah. We are very, very excited to bring everybody back. Um, we're looking at having about, you know, the, our 800 number um, kind of steady in the conference hall. Um, as, as your industry, we were really affected and we we're really excited to bring the industry back together, celebrate everybody's resilience, uh, unveil new projects um, and something for us to look forward to. Um, alongside with us are all of the beautiful and fantastic solution and technology providers that are joining us from all corners of the world. Um, and more and more joining as travel restrictions are being lifted and you know, mobility becomes a little bit easier. So in your kind of plan for futures or plans for future and some of the exciting projects that you have, are there anything, um, any specific products, supplies that you're looking for? Are there things that you're still figuring out that you would say, okay, I would really like to see examples of one, two, and three 
Um, so we can encourage people from those categories to attend and participate and, and um, showcase the products um, that they have um, to you and others who may be in your seat. Yeah, I mean, yeah. absolutely. I think um, from my side, for sure, in the direction we're going in, we're looking to see, you know, how we can probably make cinema a bit more interact interactive and, you know, just look at it, you know, a lot more customer centric. I, you know, again, my team, we've spent uh, many, many in-depth discussions, you know, talking about, you know, what is a cinema experience and, and I do believe that the days of just a ticket, popcorn, a seat, they're pretty much gone, right? Of course, there are some customers that that's all they want, but I think we all know that it's a slightly different experience. So, so what I would love to see is, you know, is something a bit different. How can we interact more? How do you bring the movie to, you know, uh, to the customer themselves, you know? So I would be definitely interested if there's any new technology or new ideas that, you know, just bring that experience to life. All good stuff. And um, I, I think that's um, something that uh, a lot of the industry have, have mentioned to us as well, interactivity mm -hmm. and kind of an experience. Uh, by the way, I am off category A. I want my film and a pop and a thing of popcorn, and I'm really, really happy. So, and you never have to try hard for me. <laughs> as long as there's a big screen and some cheese popcorn, I'm golden. Yeah, well, that's good. And and again, like I said, I have definitely got some team members that tell me that it is content, comfortable chairs, and and good popcorn, right? So. Definitely, I'm sure that there's a majority of people out there that that's, that's what it is. I guess the big thing for me is that how do we encourage people back, okay, yeah. who have been sitting at home for the last 12 to 18 months now, right? And, and that is something that we've got to all work on together to get them back. You know, we've got to entice them. And, you know, we think it'll only take one time and then we'll get into that routine again. But that's what we really all got to work on together, I feel. Um, I, I, I tend to agree with you on that point. I think, you know, once it's, it's just getting over that threshold. Um, and on your point with your team, um, I don't want to disclose my age, uh, but I think the older you are, the comfortable seat and the popcorn matters. And I think the interactive and the experience is becoming more and more important for the new generation. Yeah. the younger generation um so um yeah good luck to you guys for figuring that out but uh, i guess we, we we shall see and hopefully time will will tell a very positive um, story of how the cinema industry survived the pandemic revived itself and you know was reborn into this new form um with everybody's efforts yeah absolutely absolutely i think it's uh, definitely while it's been challenging times as you said it has been a massive learning curve and uh you know, we just, we're really open and, and waiting to welcome those, you know, big screen hits to come back. And, you know, we hope that that certainly brings more people through the doors. Yeah, uh, I think uh, you and I both, I think everyone else as well. Um, and there are some really big announcements. Uh, so we're very excited to yeah. kind of flock back to cinemas and watch them. Um, Victoria, I've taken a lot of your time. So I wanted to just basically give you the stage to say if you wanted to have any um, concluding remarks about, you know, your thoughts, your ideas, and then a little bit of teaser about what it is that you will be sharing with the audience during Meta Cinema event. Um, and watch to watch the space for. I know we've kind of gone back and forth on all of them, but I just mm -hmm. wanted to kind of conclude your your remarks and mention anything that I may have missed um, to mention in our interaction here. All right, so we're we're really excited to uh, meet everyone in October at the conference and hopefully be able to talk a lot more about our mega project and what's coming in Roxy Cinemas in the new year. Thank you so very much for your time, Victor. It was lovely chatting with you. Um, and I look Thanks, forward to seeing you in person in October. Good luck with the next few weeks with uh, the expo opening and with the progression of the mega project, the secret project, um, and it's unveiling soon. All right. Thank you so much, Leila. Appreciate it.